everyone. This is a brief preview of Office 2016 preview. I assume there's new templates. Um, you know, I, I really don't use Office that much anymore. As there's many free alternatives. They added a new search box feature on many of the pages. I'll just open up a template here. Um, you can see that they added a search box here also. Um, all of the, f the features you can find in the search box already exist, but they're just within the tabs. They also made a reference to Wikipedia, so you can open up a Wikipedia window. And it can give you some relevant information on the topic. So you no longer have to look around and um, add your references. You can now automatically add the references by clicking the plus button, which will help you when you're trying to uh, add references, evidently. Yeah, it gives you a lot of relevant information. You can also find online video from YouTube, Bing Video Search, and from an encoded video on some third-party site. And there's various other apps that you can find in the Office Store. Don't know. The store has some. There's probably not much to it. I'll, tr I'll try one of these apps and just see what goes on. Hmm, Pro Word Cloud. Uh, this looks kind of redundant. I would probably never use the store. And I would probably never use the Wikipedia. Well, maybe, because it allows you to easily add a reference. So yeah, I will be linking um, to... The office preview in the video description. You can see they also added a OneNote link. I don't know why they're pushing OneNote so hard. I never used it ever. And yeah, so that's basically a look at uh, the new Word 2016. It's got a slightly better UI, more online integration. OneNote is probably similar to the previous OneNote. Every time you launch an app, it'll ask you to sign in and uh, set it as default. Just the best thing about the build, though, is that you have a 380 day trial. I'm pretty sure this is very similar to the previous one notes. You can see that they didn't even add a search bar. But the differences between um, all of them is probably the same as with Word. I can't imagine there being that much difference in every application. You can see they also didn't add a search bar to Publisher. Now I don't know if they'll add a search bar in the future, they probably will, but currently at this time, by default, it doesn't have a search bar. So now that we see that it's basically all kind of under the hood, like there's no major changes, um, I guess we'll go through the settings. So, you know, the old initial system. So now you can set it so no matter who's logged in, you can use the specific initials. Who really cares? Um, proofing. So enforce accepted uppercase in French. Suggest for main directory only. 
Uh, I don't know. I don't really use any of this. But uh, might be relevant to some. Set your language. So that's cool because I think previously you had to use. I don't know. Don't quote me on this. I think previously you had to use the Windows language preferences. But now you can download the language through the Windows language preferences. And now you can uh, default to one of them within the program. Now it has uh, hardware graphics acceleration, which is good because oftentimes the video froze in uh, PowerPoint. You can customize this whole uh, header up here. More add-ins, which currently I don't see Windows Store support in Publisher, but uh, they'll probably add that in the future. Basically, all of them will probably look like the new word. Just needs a few more updates. And I'll check PowerPoint, and then I'll check Excel. Some of the commonly used products. I always select all for the supported uh, templates, I mean the uh, supported extensions. As you can see, the PowerPoint is also updated. And uh, it seems only the updated ones have a trial period, which I find kind of weird. But yeah, these are the most popular tools in the suite is Word, PowerPoint. Um, I think Outlook is probably also pretty popular. Personally, I don't see a point in Outlook when you have the pre-installed mail app within Windows 10. I guess I can just click <coughs> click open all these really quick. Yeah, but Outlook will probably want me to walk in again. I'm not going to do that. OneNote. Same as usual. The search is over here now. I think I already looked at OneNote. So there's apparently two OneNotes. Oh, that one was sent to OneNote, I'm sorry. Which is exactly the same thing, I would assume. It's just an extension for some websites. But if you open them from the folder, it will just open OneNote. You can see uh, Excel also added the search. They added a bunch of formulas. Might have been there previously. But evidently they updated the icons because I don't imagine them using these icons previously. And last but not least, Access, which I have also never used. Uh, I don't. I've never used Access, so I can't really know what's going on right there. Um, Upload Center is appears to be exactly the same. A little bit of a graphical update because I don't remember. It just looks a little bit cleaner than previously, if I recall correctly. But it's still probably the same build. They just changed the icons and the language preferences. So thank you. This has been a quick look at Office 2016 preview.